A few weeks ago, the whistleblowing website WikiLeaks released a number of documents that alleged the Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA, developed a spy program that turns electronic gadgets such as smart TVs, smartphones, and even cars into recording devices that capture conversations. According to the website, the name of the program is Weeping Angel. A security consultant, Raphael Skeel, has proven that it's indeed possible to compromise smart TVs, this time using broadcast signals. He demonstrated the hacking method during a cipher security conference at the European Broadcasting Union in Switzerland. The hacking technique was devised using a transmitter called Digital Video Broadcasting, terrestrial DVB-T, to embed malicious commands into smart TVs. With this feat, it's now clear that hackers can indeed use broadcast signals to hack and gain remote access to your smart TV, spy on you with its camera and microphone. The experiment proves that many of the smart TVs sold out in Europe and other parts of the world are prone to be easily hacked. The implication of this experiment is that a hacker can quickly access many smart TVs within a few seconds without necessarily tampering with the physicality of any of such smart TVs. According to Dr. Yossi Oren, a cybersecurity expert at Israel's Ben Gurion University, he says this research is significant because TVs are used by a fundamentally different demographic than computers. The point he was trying to make is that the set of people who use smart TVs do not know or care if they are getting security promptings from their TVs. Many of them may not have the expertise or discipline of installing security updates is what makes this development somewhat disturbing. It is important to state that the hack developed by Schiel is capable of surviving numerous device reboots and factory resets which makes it somewhat complicated. We know that smart TVs are not so popular in this part of the world like they are in Europe and North America. However, it's important to state that more and more Nigerians are acquiring smart TVs which means that we should come to understand the fact that just as our computers and smartphones are susceptible to attack, so are our television sets. For the fact that the security consultant was able to use a transmitting signal and his hack technique and could attack several smart TVs at once remotely, it should be a great cause for concern. This is what you should do if you already own a smart TV. The basic step we recommend for all smart TV owners is to ensure that their TV sets are always updated. Watching out for security updates prompts is quite important. Also, take time to look through the settings of your TVs and remove any strange or unknown applications and programs you find. One reality we all have to face is that as technology becomes more complex, so do the challenges that go with it. And it's clear that our policymakers must also keep up with the fast pace of development. For example, if somebody compromises another person's smart TV in Nigeria, do we have adequate laws that would allow one to seek redress? Only time will tell, but it sure looks interesting.